For me, the National Cathedral was a covenant somebody made with God, an individual. He said he swore to God that if he became president, he would build a cathedral for him. And so, from my perspective, it is his promise to build a house for God. And I don't know if God asked him for a house, you know. I'm sure that if he really had asked God what God would want him to do with $400 million, I don't think God would have chosen a cathedral. I don't think God would have chosen a cathedral when $400 million could have provided textbooks for all our students in school. I don't think God would have chosen a cathedral when he could have provided hostels in our universities for our students to have a place to stay. I don't think God would have asked you to build him a cathedral when we could have used that money to dualize the road from here to Cape Coast and prevent accidents. People die every day on that road because it's a single day lane road. And so God didn't ask for it. Somebody promised it to God. And so it was a personal promise. And if I have 400 million, God will be angry with me if I use it to build that cathedral. So I'm not going to take taxpayers 400 million or borrow 400 million from any source to build that cathedral. I said that if us as Christians believe that we should have that cathedral, then it's our duty to raise that money from our own pockets or from other Christian uh, organizations that can help us to build that cathedral. But I don't believe that we should use any taxpayers' money or borrow money uh, and add to our public debt to build that cathedral. We're not Christians alone in this country. They are Muslims, they are Buddhists, they are African traditional religionists, and all of them contribute to taxes. And so I don't think that one religion, we as Christians, should take taxpayers' money that is paid by Muslims and Buddhists and African traditional religionists and build a cathedral for ourselves. The Muslims built their national mosque. And as far as I know, not one city of the government of Ghana taxpayers' money went into the mosque. And so when we come, we'll do consultation with Ghanaians or even with the Christian community, what we want to do with regards to a cathedral. My Ghana, we are do. My Ghana, we are danga sanga sanga sanga. Amika o se enche Ghana ye be tu aba. Enche 2024 ne umu ne ye be tu aba. Na oye mistake. Ah, oye mistake na uma politics. Edi wenim. Ah, uma MPP NDC. Edi wenim. You will make four years mistake of your life. Na penetye. John Draman Mahama Chirim say, or no, or be your man penny or Ghana Hanaman. Ah, or be your man penny beam or my Ghana Mohammed. A year the National Cathedral, ah, His Excellency Nanado Danko Kufado is him. He's not going to add anything or use Ghanaian taxpayers' money for that. You shall say, Wah, O ye MPP, and your day. Wah, O ye MDC, oh, sir. Wow, we are Christian somehow when you are We are Muslim somehow when you are It's about time, man. Ghana for or say your friend you be a national or a citizen. Man, when you buy or say let the citizens, not spectators. In my view, John Draman Mahama is very right. He's very very right. John Draman Mahama is a is a is a Christian or the Assemblies of God. The Obi Ayer Christian, the A politics to in China. For no, he should be in support of this particular project. By ensure my Ghana, what is going on in Ghana here? Niama Nkoji, if you are an MPP member, you can deny it. You can you you you, you can comment anything you like, but. We all know things are very hard these days, especially under this particular government. And some also your MPP, so your MDC, So why should we prioritize national cathedral over uh, certain important things? Meanwhile, it's something of religious or religion. Meaning, religion, most of the time, it relates to the mind. Ukachi rubi sao ye e adibi ye black. Ha? Na it concern religion. Na deni ye white kraa. 
because of religion, he would have choose or he would choose the black. The things of religion, they are not, there is this carefulness when I, you know, approaching it. But John Dramani Mahama is very right in his statement. Because there is no way a student and a school for a double team, and your hostel, and your dormitory. Now, Uncle Bobbisian, mm, Uncle Fabisian, Uncle Fat Taxpayers' money, and for see a sorry dime. Ah, it's never right. God will never even be happy with that. Ah, there is no way a teachers for as I'm speaking to you. Some teachers are on strike, school for fear 24 7. You see, my time's card, you could see National Cathedral. And some Ghanaians who support this because the amount of hundreds is this, say, on Mekasa or radio, so, on Mekasa or TV, so. At the long run, Utu Abana Utu Ababonia, it affects you for the next four years. I'm repeating it. Any NDC MP in 20. Utu Abana now we want to need ye because of hundreds of this bill, the amount. Because of a mobile be the amount, the next four years of your life you're gonna suffer. Mm? National Cathedral, Ehunya, it's not a priority. It's for countries that are more developed. Person the Africa, Ghana, we are suffering with even common food. What we we'll eat, we are still important. We can't even solve this basic need. Because in National Cathedral, we have countries. That have bypassed all this level. Your country somehow bypassed that that level of the umbedi, the umbeche, the kwanya umbedi namso. If bypass that, those people need this kind of things, adventures for people as a tourist site, you know, and a tourist attraction. You know? Those are the countries that need such things. Not a country that is suffering with even common water. Zokra and chebekra, yaman koye. As I'm speaking to you, and now, if you are too full of me, and change your mobile by adding, the minimum election year, because any of my mobile phone and any of my mobile, but what are we experiencing? Nobody cares. National Cathedral, National Cathedral, and you see people supporting it. It's about time we act as Ghanaians, because.